What are some of the things that we as human beings cannot live without? Food, water and air. We can live without food for only a few weeks, without water for only a few days, but we cannot live without air for more than a few minutes. Do you know that air, which is essential for our survival, is a mixture? Air is a mixture of different gases such as carbon dioxide, oxygen and nitrogen. Water is also essential for our survival. It is a compound made up of hydrogen and oxygen atoms. Like air and water, we use many other compounds and mixtures in our daily lives. For example, the food that we eat. First, let's look at the uses of compounds. The common salt used in food is also a compound known as sodium chloride. It is represented by the chemical formula NaCl. Table sugar C12H22O11 is used to add sweetness into our food and drinks. It provides instant energy to our body. What is an important characteristic of quality bread? Bread becomes soft and spongy when baking soda is added to it. Baking soda is also called sodium bicarbonate. Baking soda NaHCO3 is used for baking cakes and breads and for cooking some food items. Apart from cooking, let us now consider some other uses of compounds. The compound carbon dioxide, CO2, is a gas that is exhaled by humans and animals. It is also used by plants to produce oxygen and food for themselves and for humans and animals. Carbon dioxide is heavier than air, so it displaces oxygen. Therefore, it is filled in fire extinguishers to put out fire. Carbon dioxide is also added to soda or carbonated drinks to make them fizzy. Without carbon dioxide, these drinks will become flat and taste just like flavored drinks. Washing soda, also known as Sodium carbonate, Na2CO3, is used in detergents for washing purposes. Polymers are compounds made up of many similar molecules joined together. Plastic, rubber and polystyrene are all examples of polymers. Plastics are used for making many products such as toys, household items, furniture and utensils. This is mainly because plastic can be easily bent or shaped. Plastic and rubber are also used to cover electric wires because they do not conduct electricity. Therefore, they protect us from electric shocks. These materials are also flexible and can be bent or shaped easily. Polystyrene is also a form of plastic used for making packing material. It's used to pack food because it is a poor conductor of heat, so it traps heat and keeps food warm for a long duration. How about mixtures? How do we use them in daily life? Tap water is also a mixture of pure water and different minerals. When we boil tap water, some of the salts are separated from water and can be seen floating in it. It is used for drinking, washing and other essential purposes. Mineral water is also a mixture of pure water and some useful minerals. Various drinks that we commonly use, for example, juices, tea, milk, are also mixtures. In addition, oral rehydration salts, or ORS, is a mixture of sugar and salt. It is dissolved in water and used to treat dehydration and loss of minerals due to vomiting and diarrhea. Ink and paint are mixtures too. Inks of various colors are mixtures of different colors. Similarly, paints are also mixtures of colors and some binding materials. They're used to coat and decorate our walls. They're also used for covering gates, doors, 
and locks in order to prevent rusting. Let's summarize. Compounds and mixtures are essential in our daily lives. Compounds and mixtures may be both natural or man-made. We use compounds and mixtures in food items, drinks, industries and many other aspects of life.